Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 6 19 from RC Hibaler, Engineering Statics 15th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the force in members AB, AG, BC, and BG of the truss and state if the members are in tension or compression. And we have to take P1 as 40 kN and P2 as 20 kN. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw all the support reactions. So at point A, I have a pin support. So I have a vertical support reaction and the horizontal support reaction. At point E, I have a rocker support. So I have a just vertical support reaction. Let's label them. So this right here is AX, this is AY, and this is EY. Now to proceed further, we have to find the values of these support reactions. For that, I'm going to use summation of moments at point A equals to zero. And I'm considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. It is one of the equilibrium equations. So P1 is trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by the P1 will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this 1.5 meter distance. P2 is also trying to rotate the truss in clockwise direction about point A with a moment arm of 1.5, 1.5 and 1.5, which means 4.5 meters. So negative P2 and the moment arm of 4.5. EY is trying to rotate the truss in counterclockwise direction about point E. So the moment produced by the EY will be taken as positive and the moment arm is 6 meter distance. All four 1.5 meter distances added up equals to zero. So when I substitute the values, I have P1 equals to 40 kN into 1.5 minus P2, which is 20 kN into 4.5 plus EY into 6 equals to zero. So from here, EY comes out to be 25 kN. Now for AX, we can do summation of forces in X direction equals to zero. I'm considering the right hand side as positive. So we have just AX negative AX equals to zero. So AX is just equal to zero. And for AY, we can do summation of forces in Y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have AY minus P1 minus P2 plus EY equals to zero. So AY minus 40 minus 20 plus 25 equals to zero. So from here, AY comes out to be 35 kilonewtons. So these are our support reactions. And now we have to find the forces in few of the members, but, but still we can apply the method of joints here. So starting from the joint A, if I draw the free body diagram of the joint A, the free body diagram would look something like this. I have the AX force which is away from the joint A. I have the AY force, which is towards the joint A. I have a force due to this member AG and I'm assuming it as a tensile force. I have a force due to this member AB and I am assuming it as a compressive force. Let's label them. This right here is AX. This is FAG. This right here is AY and this is F AB. Now I have to find this angle, let's call this theta, which is same as this angle right here. To calculate the value of theta, we can consider this right angle triangle, which has a base of 1.5 meters and the height of two meters. 
So tan theta equals to 2 divided by 1.5. So theta comes out to be 53.13 degrees. Now we can resolve this FAB force into its components. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Let's label them. So this right here is F A B because this angle is also theta because they are alternate angles. F A B cos theta and this right here is F A B sin theta. Now we can apply the equations of equilibrium. So our first equation would be summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive. So we have a y minus f a b sine theta and theta is 53.13 degrees equals to zero. So when I put the values a y is 35 kilonewtons minus f a b into sine 53.13 degrees equals to zero. So f a b comes out to be 43.8 kN. And since we are getting a positive answer and we had assumed FAB to be a compressive force, so in fact FAB is a compressive in nature. And now for FAG we can apply summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have negative AX plus FAG minus FAB cos theta and theta is 53.13 degrees equals to zero. And if I put the values, AX is zero. We had calculated earlier. So zero plus FAG that we have to determine minus FAB which is 43.8 kilonewtons into cos 53.13 degrees equals to zero. So from here, FAG comes out to be 26.3 kN. And since we are getting a positive answer, so it means the nature we had assumed earlier for the FAG is correct. And in fact, the member AG is in tension. So now we have to do the same for the forces in other members for which we are going to consider the joint B. So the free body diagram of the joint B would look something like this. So I have a force AB which is compressive in nature. So towards the joint B. I have a force due to the member BC, which is, I'm assuming it as a compressive force. So also towards the joint B. I have a force due to the member BG and I'm assuming it as a tensile force. So away from the joint B. So let's label them. This right here is FBC. This is FBG. And this right here is FAB. And uh, if this angle is theta and if I draw a horizontal here, then this angle is also theta because they are alternate angles. So if theta is here, then this angle is also theta because they are alternate angles. So now I can resolve this FAB force into it, its components. So I have one vertical component and one horizontal component. So Let's label them. This right here is FAB sine theta and the horizontal component is FAB cos theta. Now to find the FBC force, we are going to apply summation of forces in x direction equals to zero. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have FAB cos theta and theta is 53.13 degrees 
minus f b c equals to zero. So if I put the value of f a b, so f a b is forty three point eight kilonewtons. So forty three point eight into cos fifty three point one three degrees equals minus f b c equals to zero. So from here f b c comes out to be twenty six point three kilonewtons. And since we are getting a positive answer, and earlier we had assumed FBC to be a compressive, so in fact FBC is a compressive force, and the member BC is in compression. Now for the force in the member BG, we can apply summation of forces in y direction equals to zero. I'm considering up direction as positive, so we have F AB. Sine theta with and theta is fifty three point one three degrees minus F B G equals to zero, and if I put the value of F B which is forty three point eight kilonewtons, so we have forty three point eight into sine fifty three point one three degrees minus F B G equals to zero, so F B G is equals to thirty five kilonewtons. Now, as we are getting a positive answer, and earlier we had assumed F B G as a tensile force, so in fact F B G is a tensile force, and the member B G is in tension because we are getting a positive answer, and earlier we had assumed F B G to be a tensile force. So let me summarize it, the whole solution. So A X. Came out to be zero. A Y was thirty five kilonewtons. E Y came out to be twenty five kilonewtons. F A D is equals to forty three point eight kilonewtons, and it is compressive in nature. F A G came out to be twenty six point P kilonewtons, and it was in tension. The member AG was in tension. FBC came out to be twenty six point three kilonewtons as well, but the member was in compression, and FBG is thirty five kilonewtons, and the member BG is in tension. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do. please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates and if you have any questions or any doubts then feel free to ask in the comment section and i will answer it as soon as possible thank you